Well, Calvin Robinson is not just a campaigner for free speech, he is a campaigner for orthodoxy. He's a campaigner for good doctrine, and he is opposed to woke divism in the church. Watch this. But the problem with the woke uh, uh, perspective of this is it's a trap because you fall into this victimhood mentality. And I've seen so many people that I know and love fall into this trap of, well, the reason I haven't achieved what I wanted in life is because the systems are all against me. Everything is against me. Everyone's against me. And it's like, well, actually, at some point, you have to take personal responsibility. You have to take ownership mm -hmm. over your own life. And you have to, you know, believe that if you work hard enough, you can do anything you like. And you have to look for the positive examples. You have to look at the fact that we've got the most ethnically diverse cabinet we've had in history. In fact, it's probably more ethnically um, made up of ethnic minorities than the native white Brits. Uh, we have, you know, uh, a Hindu prime minister, for goodness sake, a Muslim uh, uh, mayor of London. Uh, just we ha there was a African-American president of the United States. Anyone of any ethnicity can achieve any high office they set out to in life. We don't live in a meritocratic society, but we live in the closest possible thing. And we've made so much progress in race relations, uh, both this side and that side of the pond, that we have to acknowledge the progress as well. And if we get in that victimhood mentality, we'll, we'll hold ourselves back. So it's not helpful. What do you think is... It is is the way that the church can in a sense market itself better i've had some interesting conversations on other platforms with people like tom holland and douglas murray people who are sort of attracted to church though they find themselves also at odds sometimes with the church because they feel like they don't want it to look like the culture they want it to have that sense of uh, uh, of being an ancient place where you step into something that goes way beyond just the contemporary concerns of our of our culture right now how i'm sure you kind of share a lot in common with that with that how, how does the church actually go about doing that though how do we rise above in that sense all these these issues that we've been discussing so far 